Lin Yang came back, and Wu Vi said to him, Didn't expect it, hi? Huh? Zhang Yang has brought a small Dong Zinken to this point now. He replied, His capability is beyond doubt. He asked Wu Vi, Did you confirm with the landlord? He replied, Confirmed, next week. I promise a one stop service, streamlined, moving, all inclusive. He inspected the room, checked the bed, and Wu Vi said to him, You can rest assured. This bed was newly replaced by the landlord last month. He moved a cabinet into the room. Wuvai said, You move it here, then what about my study? He replied, You rarely read anyway. He then moved Wuvai's sofa over. Wuvai said, It's still better not to have a girlfriend, otherwise, everything will have to be given away. He sprayed the sofa with cleaner, and Wuvai said to him, You're really exaggerating now. He replied, since you wanted to buy a coffee machine, go pick out a better one, I'll cover the cost. Wu Vi happily said, All right then. He asked Wu Vi, What do you think of me as a person? Wu Vi said, Your temper isn't that great, sometimes a bit. He interrupted him, saying, I mean, what do you think of me as a person in the eyes of girls? Wu Vi said, You're very popular among girls. Just in Ardong Zinken. There are several girls who secretly admire you. Don't tell me you don't know, unless you're a fool. He asked, What do you think I look best in? Wuvai said, Sportswear or hoodies. You're tall and slim, wearing them gives you a youthful vibe. Wuvai brought Yingu and her brother to eat noodles again, and the boss took special care of them. Yingu asked, You guys are quite familiar with the boss, aren't you? Wuvai said, Yang is very familiar with the boss. Last time when she sent you to the hotel and was going to be late, she stayed here. Her brother said, so we really did trouble him. Her brother asked, when is Yang coming back? Wu Vi replied, it's hard to say. He's busy with school and work, always coming and going in a hurry. Usually, I see him once every one or two months. This time, it was Yang who vouched for you guys to the landlord, which is why the house was rented to you so quickly. Her brother said, then we should be even more grateful to him. Yingu asked, does that mean we have to wait another one or two months for his next visit? Wu Vi replied, that's about right. She nodded disappointedly. Yingu messaged Lin Yang on WeChat, saying, we moved into the apartment today. Wu Vi said you vouched for us to the landlord, thank you. She quickly received his reply, no problem. I'm in class now, but after class, a coffee moji. She sent back a smile face moji. Lin Yang concluded the lecture by saying, See you next week. Two Chinese girls approached the podium, and he asked, Are you here to check exam scores or to discuss journals with me? They said, We want to treat you to a meal to thank you for taking care of us this semester. He replied, I have a few lecture materials that need to be completed, I don't have time. Thank you for your kind words. Just make sure to finish your assignments properly. Wu Vi led the sister and brother to the building and said, This building is old, there's no elevator. He helped her carry the luggage upstairs. Lin Yang rode his bicycle to an underground billiard room, where everyone greeted him. The bartender asked him, You've been going to Wu Vi's place a lot recently, isn't that quite unusual? Lin Yang asked, Did you transfer the 200,000 I gave you to him? The bartender replied, Don't worry, I did. He said, I'll be relieved once the final payment is received. Another person approached him and said, Congratulations. From now on, this underground billiard room belongs to you. He replied, In order to acquire this place, I've been so broke for the past two months that I couldn't even afford hamburgers. He addressed the people in the billiard room, saying, Anyone participating in this upcoming nine ball tournament, come here. He took out training manuals from his bag and handed them to them, saying, find a good place to practice. If you need anything, feel free to reach out to me. My phone is on 24 7. Mencia Ocean looked at his room and then went to see his sister's room. He said, my sister's room has a sofa and a cabinet. How come my room doesn't have anything? Wuvi replied, the best things should naturally be given to your sister. He said, you're right. Then he chuckled. Yingu asked, you mentioned there's a billiard room nearby. 
where is it? He replied, I'll take you there right now. She told her brother, I'm going for training. Wait for me to come back for dinner. He said, okay. They arrived at the billiard room, and he opened the door for her, saying, please come in. Wu Vi introduced Yingo to the people, saying she's Lin's friend, and they greeted her. Then the manager took her to Lin Yang's dedicated billiard room. Wu Vi said, Lin Yang teaches pool here, and he has a good relationship with the owner, which is why he has his own dedicated room. When he's not here, nobody is allowed to use this room. She remarked, it feels like he's been everywhere. Wu Vi added, he's a workaholic. He's worked here with the Chinese bus, teaching pool, in restaurants he dares to try everything. And he insists on practicing pool every day. Wu Vi said to her, you go ahead and practice, I'll go back to change clothes and head to work. The manager came in and said to her, if you need anything, just let me know. Lin's friend is my friend too, so don't hesitate. She replied, okay, thank you. Mencia Ocean saw Wu Vi changing clothes and asked, are you going out? Wu Vi replied, yes, going to work. He asked, Wu, do you need money? Let me help you pay your rent until you return to your country. Wu Vi said, thank you, but I actually want to find something to do. Otherwise, it's quite boring. Wu Vi asked Mencia Ocean, do you like opera? I have a few tickets and have arranged to go with some friends. Would you like to come along? He replied, sure, I'd love to. Yingo was practicing diligently when Lin Yang entered and said, nice shot. She looked at him in surprise and asked, aren't you supposed to be in class? He replied, I came after class. Heard you were training, so I thought I'd come over and take a look. She said, Wu Vi mentioned that you only come back once every month or two, so that's why I sent you a thank you message. He replied, I've been relatively free lately. Are you adapting well to the environment here? She said, it's pretty good. He asked her, are you ready to leave? She replied, if you have time, would you play a game with me? He asked, aren't you afraid of being beaten and crying? She said, I'm pretty good, even if I lose, I won't cry. He said, many people have been beaten to tears by me, Wu Vi is one of them. He set up the balls for her, thinking to himself, should I give her an advantage? But it's not quite right to give an advantage to a professional player. She thought to herself, he seems reluctant, is it difficult for a strong person to yield? She said to him, how about we go for dinner instead? You just got off the train. He replied, I'm not hungry, let's play five sets, best of three. They shook hands. She took the first shot and they began playing. After a while, she asked him, how are you holding back? He replied, am I? She said, you don't have to go easy on me. I can handle losing. He looked at her. She said, if you don't make this shot, you're deliberately losing. He put away the cue stick and said, it's getting late, let's head back. She said, all right, I'm hungry too. As they argued over who would pay the bill, he said, you're the guest. She replied, no, I insist on paying. The manager intervened, saying, what are you arguing about? Today's on me. He said, thank you then. The manager responded, what are you thanking me for? I'm still hoping you'll teach my son someday. Lin Yang and Yinga walked along the road. She said, we've prepared hot pot for tonight, and your return timing is perfect. He didn't say anything and they walked in silence. He asked her, why aren't you talking? She looked at him, and he said, I'm not very good at small talk. It's not that I don't want to chat with you. She smiled. They returned home to find nobody there. She saw a message from her brother, saying they had gone to see an opera. She said to him, they've gone to see an opera. Would you still like to have hot pot? He replied, of course. They finished preparing the hot pot together, and he said to her, I'm going to change my clothes. He remembered what Wu Vi had said to him, you look handsome in sportswear or hoodies. So, he took out a hoodie and changed into it. Wu Vi and Mencia Ocean were at the theater entrance. Wu Vi sent a message to Lin Yang saying, take good care of Ying Wu. Lin Yang replied, got it. 
they started eating hot pot. She remarked, it seems like every time we meet, we're eating. He replied, it's nice. She asked, would you like some alcohol? He said, I'll go get some. He took out two bottles of beer from the fridge, poured them into cups, and said, cheers. They clinked their cups together. She asked him, do you miss home while you're here? He replied, yes. She asked, who do you miss the most at home? He said, probably my grandfather. She pondered for a moment and asked, are you interested in someone? She said, I saw the post Vuvai shared on his moments. Even though you deleted it, I still saw it. He asked, did you? She said, don't be sad. You're such a good person. If you like someone, there will surely be a response. He asked, do I look very sad? She shyly lowered her head. After a while, she raised her head and held up her glass to him, saying, here's to your wishes coming true. He said, thank you, and clinked his glass with hers. She received a WeChat video call from her grandmother and went to her room to answer it. Her grandmother asked, where's Tian Tian? She replied, he's gone to see an opera. Then her brother also joined the video call and said, this is your first time participating in an international competition. If you can't win the championship, at least aim for second place. Her grandmother exclaimed, oh my, such high expectations. Her grandmother asked, is that international student you share the apartment with there? She replied, yes, he is. Her grandmother said, I want to thank him personally. Her brother added, go invite him over, I also want to personally express my gratitude to him. She said, all right. She came out to the living room and didn't see Lin Yang. She told her grandmother, he's gone out. Her brother said to her grandmother, we'll thank him next time then. Grandma said to her brother, you are too strict with Xiaokuo. He replied, without strictness, how can there be good results? He asked, Grandma, do you know the name of that international student? Her grandmother said, Tian Tian told me his name is Lin Yang. Her brother recalled a childhood memory about Zhang Yang and Lin Yang competing for the championship. Once, Lin Yang said to him, Menciao Dong, do you want to win the championship? Well, that won't happen unless I withdraw from the race. Lin Yang emerged from his room, and she said to him, just now, Grandma wanted me to call you to join them on video call. They wanted to express their gratitude to you for helping us rent the apartment. He replied, it was Wu Vi who helped you guys, it's not really my concern. He asked her, do you have a brother? She replied, yes, he's my cousin, Xiaoshan's actual brother. She continued, since I was young, he taught me how to play ball, so he always tells people that he raised me. He's really strict. He asked, is he very strict? She nodded. He said to her, emotional master, a winning machine with no emotions on the field. Surprised, she asked, how did you know that? He replied, I've read a few of your interviews. She looked puzzled and said, oh. He looked at her, his eyes smiling. She couldn't sleep, so she took out her phone to check the time, 2 a.m. She got up and went to the living room, where she saw him still on the computer. She asked, you haven't slept yet. He replied, did I disturb you? She said, no, no, I just wanted to go to the bathroom. She came back from the bathroom and said to him, you wouldn't have disturbed me, and besides, I'm not sleepy yet. I'll play for a while longer. He watched her close the door to her room. He messaged her on WeChat saying, I need to tell you something. She replied, okay. He then opened her door and said, tomorrow, I promised your brother to take him somewhere, and Wu Vi is also coming. We won't be back until the afternoon. Is it okay for you to stay alone at home? She replied, of course, no problem. Plus, I have training in the afternoon. He said, okay, and then closed the door. He sent her a cup of coffee emoji. She replied with a smiling face emoji. They each immersed themselves in their own thoughts.